Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Arzitz, and I am here with uh, UPL Week 6? Let's see, if I, yeah, Week 6 versus uh, Tenacious Golem, and uh, yeah, basically he has a threatening team with things like Mega Scizor and stuff. So uh, here's the team builder. Bam, we got Scarfic Doom with Grass Knots in him, but U-turn V-Create Grass Knot for that thing right there. It's right there that thing v create because v create u turn because u turn zen headbutt because zen headbutt max speed max but max, almost max attack and then eight and grass knot i mean special attack then we got cbb to mega aggro and heavy slam fire punch roar stealth rock with uh defensive nature you know standard standard next up we got yoko Littner with Max defense, a lot of spadef with uh, calm nature and a little bit of HP because I need a counter Volcarona because that thing can sweep me. Next up, we got Choice Banded Land Shark back again, once again, and it's here to wreck some lives. Earthquake, Fire Punch, Dragon Claw, Rock Slide. Earthquake because it's Earthquake, he doesn't have many switch ins. Fire Fang for Scissor, if things get tough. Dragon Claw because I didn't really need an arc coverage move and I didn't really want out outrage so I just throw on Dragon Claw and Rock Slide to hit Volcarona to make sure it kills. And then we got Banked and Brave Bird U-Turn Roost Defog with uh, max HP, some speed out, speed everything I need to, and uh, the rest in defense. Next up we got max defense, max HP, Mana Fizzle with Rain Dance Rest Scald Toxic. Now, looking at his team, that isn't a great set, but I was thinking he was going to bring the likes of Slow King. Basically, here's what I expected. Yes, yes, eh, Volcarona, uh, what's the thing, uh, Slow King, and something else. But he didn't end up bringing any of those, so I'm like, alright, Manaphy, he has a file plume, which is a perfect counter, so Manaphy probably won't do that much. So, uh, let's just hop into it. I'm gonna lead off with Landshark, cause I'm just like, you know what, I don't think he, he doesn't have many switch-ins, so let me just lead off with it. I lead off with the Landshark, he leads off with right here, and I'm like, okay, hold up, let me bring it to normal. I'm like, okay, oh, Alright, let me just say, right here, I definitely wasn't playing on my A game. I was playing well, but I wasn't playing perfect, cause I was like, okay, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna eat Earthquake. I should I probably shouldn't have earthquake you see it works out because he switches but I probably shouldn't have earthquaked because That just put me in a pretty bad situation if he was ice punch if he did have ice punch and he lived it Which I think he would have but either way I just go for earthquake because I'm like all right It's gonna do a big amount of damage to anything that comes in and he switches so I'm like oh cool He goes a viable I'm like huh did you get the memo? I don't think you got the memo <laughs> 92% Wow, and I'm not even adamant. So we kill Vileplume on turn two, which is f just great. Then he goes to the Garvel, I'm like, alright, uh, you're probably Scarfed, I don't care if you're not Scarfed, I'm going out to Aggron to hopefully get up my rocks. So he goes for the Moonblast, and that does a little bit more than I had hoped, but you know, CVB is not Mega Evolved yet, so it's understandable. And now I'm going to get my rocks as he goes out and hit Monly, and I'm like, ugh, ooh, hit Monly is too easy. I got your boy Crobat. Baddington, Baddington, eat this close combat. He goes for a high jump kick though, and I'm like, okay, he's reckless. Uh, I'm gonna go for U-turn because he's obviously gonna go out the right period, but he stays in. And I'm like, uh, Stone Knight just imminent. I'm gonna go with the Mana Fizzle and uh, eat it up. Yum, yum. That does nothing. Max defense, Mana Fizzle. Thank you. And then I'm gonna go back out in the Crobat because you know Baddington is gonna eat it up. He goes for high jump kick again. And I'm like, oh, oh, it's too easy. And I'm like, alright, uh, I'm just going to Brave Bird because I'm tired of playing these games. As he is going to die, and now Baddington's out and about, and now he's going to go on this guard I'm like, cool. I can switch out to whatever I want, and I think I'm going to choose Yoko Littner. As he goes for the sidekick, and it does absolutely nothing. Gets a spadef drop, like I care. He's not running the side shock. Perfect. Now I'm going to go for S-Toss, because I think Scissor's going to come in. I'm like, alright, Mega Aggro, get out here, eat it up, whatever. It's not, he, he can eat up anything, even a superpower. It, it, he goes for Swords Dance, and I'm like, god oh, jeez, okay, uh, what do you have? Swords Dance, Bullet Punch, not, mm, 
knock out U-turn super he has to have su bolt punch superpower so I don't know what his last move is but I'm like all right so uh, I don't know if Agron lives but let's just find out Agron lives because Agron is the king of everything fire punches the scissor and scissor is oh god Scissor is gone. Things are dropping one by one. And then a Serum War comes out. I'm like, alright, uh, let's see. He could be Scar, so I'm just gonna stay in. I, I sack it to Darkest Laureate, which I don't really even know what that move is. But now I get to go out to Land Shark because I see that he has lefties. And I'm like, ooh, you know what that means? I get the Earthquake and kill something. As we do. We kill Incineroar. So that's Garchomp with two, count them, two kills. Then he goes out to Garvelar, I'm like, okay, uh, Yoko Lindner, come on back out. Just get back out here. Goes for Focus Blast. It does nothing, because Yoko Lindner is still the king. Or the queen, because it's a girl. But Yoko Lindner, no, you're the king. You're the female king. We are in a day and age where gender is starting to get questioned. You are the king, alright? So now I'm gonna recover up with soft boiled as the video starts to lag out a little bit, but it's all right. And now I'm gonna switch out into Crobat, I think, on the Focus Blast. But he ends up to go out to right pier. Yeah, because I was tired of the spadef drop, and I'm like, all right, cool. Now he gets a U-turn out in the Manaphy. If he's defensive, then we live it and can probably get Rain Dance Rest off. If he's offensive, then we. Oh my gosh, that is Choice Bandit. But I get to go for Scald, and it luckily kills. So that's Manaphy with another, well, that's Manaphy with another kill. It has 11 kills so far. And now Gardevoir comes out, and I'm like, you know what? Differential does matter in this league, so I'm going to switch out to Blissey and just win this freaking game. Even if it went for Trick, it does not matter. Things outspeed after that. So now he's going to take Toxic Damage, and then he's going to Moonblast again. It gets a crit on the last one, which is funny. But I'm going to Seismic Toss, and the Toxic is going to take it down. So, that is the match. So, uh, yeah. Choice Band, Garchomp's the king, Yonko Lintner's the king, and Agron is the king. So everyone's the king. I love it. Victini didn't even come out. Wow. Alright, so uh, with that, I'm going to see you later. Bye-bye!